Take a deep breath. Try to remember when was the last time you took the time to simply breathe. And notice how you feel just after a couple deep conscious breaths. It's so simple, right? Inhale, exhale. You do it a thousand times each day of your life until the moment you die. But the truth is, most of the tools that are built into our bodies to help us be happy and healthy are overlooked. Conscious breathing is one of them. Another tool, which is ironically the best productivity hack ever, is rest. But I'm not talking about binge-watching shows on Netflix or scrolling through social media here. I talk about real rest for the soul. A sacred time to give your being what it needs to feel nourished and replenish your energy. There was a time in me and Remy's life where taking a single day off was simply out of the question. In this fast-paced world that we live in, we grow more and more impatient. Impatient to reach our life goals. Impatient to be able to do more, produce more, have more, be more. So like most people, we overworked until we became sick more often, until the joy was drained out of ourselves and the only thing we came to be more was tired. But sooner or later, we learned that giving ourselves permission to truly rest was the key to have the energy necessary to reach the goals we had and to achieve more than what we could even expect. Resting doesn't mean to stay home and sleep. It doesn't even have anything to do with moving your body or not. Rest is only about giving yourself some love and do the things that seems to give you energy instead of taking it away from you. For me, it means taking my time in the morning, to not feel any pressure to start my day at any given time, and to enjoy every sip of a warmly delicious yerba mate while being fully present with my family. Okay, it's a lot of filming. It's a lot It can also mean soaking up the warm sun and planting new fruit bushes in the garden. Not as a task, but because it feels good to do so in that particular moment. It can also look like gardening with a friend, chatting about life while putting your hands into the soil, nurturing the land, and a precious friendship all at once.
voilà, l'aime tout seul. Being outside in nature is one of a universal type of rest, I feel. I don't know any human being who doesn't benefit from reconnecting to the natural world. And the more often you do it, the more the need to get outside grows within you. It's like remembering that you are part of the wild and not separate from it. Picking flowers to make medicine with my kid is a very powerful way to take a break for me. It is also very, very productive because it teaches me every single time that I already have everything that I need to be happy and that it would be disastrous to never take days off to appreciate it. Ben, je sais pas comment l'expliquer. Faut juste être respectueux. Dans le fond, c'est pas la petite laisser la porte. Là, c'est ça. C'est tellement beau du milieu quartier, comme des petits soleils. Bye! Attends, j'ai pas encore filé le milieu quartier. Here I made St. John's Word Concentrate, which we take daily in the darkest time of the year. This little flower is actually a very potent antidepressant and mood booster, without any of the side effects of the pharmaceutical drugs. <laughs> I will let the fresh flowers soak in the vinegar for the rest of the summer, away from sunlight, and put it in small glass bottles in the fall to have our stash of sunshine potion for the winter. I hope this video inspired you to rest when you need it. Rest in a way that feels right to you, even if it's just taking a moment to take a few deep breaths. Pick a couple flowers, or simply slow down and pay attention to what surrounds you. Stop thinking. Start feeling. Have a good week. <laughs>